What's up guys? So this is the second video that I made today. And uh, I made two because you know that Graceland video I put out yesterday? Well, I've been trying to put it out and upload it for like three days and there was always problems. So I really didn't have a new video out really for most part of this week. It's been like three, four days since I had one. So today I'm going double. So this video um, is of Engelbert Humperdinck. And you know, Elvis and him were acquaintances in the 70s. I think that Elvis uh, kind of admired him in a sense because they were about the same age. And Elvis really liked Release Me and There Goes My Everything, which were hits for Humperdinck. <laughs> He's got a strange name. Please release me. So I was, I, this came across my feed and uh, I was like, let me just click it. And you gotta listen to how Engelbert addressed Elvis in the crowd. He introduced him and then Elvis just, you gotta hear this man. This is like pure Elvis. I almost wouldn't believe it unless he actually said so himself. So take a look at this, what Engelbert says and uh, have a good rest of your day. It was unbelievable, I want to tell you this. Can I tell you this story? Sure. Yeah. I was playing at the Riviera, and uh, I heard Elvis was going to come and see my show. Well, I, my stomach started to, to, to guggle and all those of things because I knew the, 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 how massive this man was and, and how much I idolized him. And anyway, he came to the show, and he was, and half, halfway through the show, I you normally introduce the, the star who is president. So I said to the ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, I didn't have to say we had, because they already knew he was there, right? <laughs> That's what happens. So uh, I said, we have somebody that I've admired for a long time, and, and he's sitting in our audience, and the great Elvis Presley, and he stood up. Elvis stood up, and he st it was a booth. He was sitting in a booth, you know. And he stood on the table, and he was wearing the cape, and he opened the cape like that. And the audience went absolutely berserk, right? It took me 10 minutes to calm, to calm the audience down. I, and I said, whoa, 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 Elvis, uh, this is my show. This is my show. You know, and he, of course, I, I couldn't see him, but he said he smiled at that, at, uh, that remark, you know. And... Uh, then he closed his, his cape and he sat down and, and the audience finally came, became quiet. Then after the show, thank God I did a great show. But after the show, he came back and he said, that was, that was a very good show. He, he, he liked it. He liked my show. I said, Elvis, you know, I, I've been recording some of your songs. And they, he says, don't worry, pal. I've been recording some of yours, too. <laughs> you know? And so there's... Again, we hit it off so quickly. He was just a great, great person. And, and the mere fact that a man at that stature, when he came backstage, and normally, you know, when you don't know each other, you shake each other's hand. But he gave me a he embraced me. And it just, it just, you know, it was the icing on the cake for me. It, 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 just unbelievable.